Good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. My name is Callie. This is Camille. And I'd like to welcome you to another weekend of Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee. In this series, every Saturday morning, I give viewers a quick little tip and a short exercise or etude to work on over the week. It's nothing big or fancy. It's just a little thing that you can do to add to your normal practice routine to just kind of help you get to the next level in whatever topic I'm, I'm talking about in the week. So today's episode, I'm going to talk about flexibility in air and embouchure and articulation. And I'm going to give you guys um, a little exercise from the Close Method, one of my favorites. Before we do that though, I want to thank my patrons for your support. Um, exciting moment has happened. My channel now has 20 patrons, which is pretty cool. So everybody who's been supporting my channel, your names are below here and thank you all for that. Anybody else who's interested, there is a tier just for YouTube viewers. It's $3 and you know, it's just a simple way to say thank you to my channel, or I guess to me, and especially to Camille <laughs> for giving you a little something to practice every week. So it's a good way to stay involved. You get early access to PDFs, and I'm actually going to start um, redoing the tiers in the middle. So be sure to check those out pretty soon. I'll let you guys know whenever I launch the middle, the new middle tiers. Um, but for now, I think you know, the $3 tier is just perfect for YouTube viewers. So be sure to check that out. Now, I also teach private lessons. So if you send me a message, all messages go through me, all lessons are scheduled through me. So if you're interested, I would love to work with anybody who has found me through YouTube. So just send a message below and I would be happy to work something out. Now, how did last week go? I mean, I, let's see. I was just feeling kind of overwhelmed recently with all the technique, all the articulation, all the skills, all the, da -da, all the drills and everything. And I thought it would be so great to really practice that exercise, that, that musical expressive muscle. So I gave everybody um, a, a different little crutch exercise, a practice each day, short thing, just to kind of warm up the expressive side. So if you guys did it and you did a different one each day, leave a comment below, let me know how you did. Um, yeah, actually, so why don't we get started today? So I need to put my coffee down. Can you? You are just so sweet. Hold on, I gotta take a kitty break. All right, so this exercise from the Closet Method, it is just, it's an exercise on the sixth interval, and I'm going to say, practice this articulated and practice this slurred just to improve flexibility. A lot of times when we practice legato, if we're not careful, we can get in the habit of really pushing our sound out instead of supporting the sound. And I have found that practicing with articulation can really kind of help develop that supportive muscle, especially in larger intervals, such as what we're doing today in the sixth. So if you can sound really good art articulating the this, this exercise, then I would say go ahead and try to apply that same kind of air support to playing it legato as well. Back in August, I released a practice calendar, and one of the things that I put in the practice calendar, which almost everybody had a question about, and, and that's mainly my fault. I didn't really define what it meant. Um, on the calendar, I had flexibility as one of the things to, to think about, and the exercise we're doing today is a really good example, I think, of, of flexibility. So when you're practicing, just make sure you're getting a good sound, you're staying in pitch, you're not overdoing it with with air. You don't want to overblow, but you don't want to underblow, right? You want to get it right in the pocket. You want to support all of those good things. And so when I'm doing these, I actually like to practice them somewhat slowly at first and really think about how each note sounds before I play it. And so there's a technique 
called prepared fingers. So if you prepare your finger for the next note before you play the next note, you'll be able to speed it up and get a faster tempo, blah, 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 eventually over time. One of the things I actually really like to pair with prepared fingers is prepared listening. So try to imagine what the note sounds like before you play it while also prepping your fingers for the note. So in doing so, you'll actually improve your ability to voice these large intervals with less of a scoop or squeak or, or whatever it is that happens to be, happens to be the, the troublesome area for you. So try practicing prepared fingers. So again, prepared fingers, you just move your fingers to the following note before you play the note and do it with prepared listening as well. So you listen for the note in your mind before you play the note. So I will demonstrate a couple of different ways to practice these and you know, you guys can be creative and practice it in whatever way you think will be helpful for you. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Alright guys, so I feel nice and warmed up and nice and flexible and ready to start my day. So 
if you guys have any questions on on different ways to practice that or you know if you want any more tips or whatever leave them in the comments below let me know what you think of this and let me know if you you know put this into your practice routine over the week if you can really feel a difference after a week of doing this and Yes, in the meantime, have a great weekend, have a great week of practicing, and as always, happy practicing.